Bees and Ever Blooming Crabs. Ladies, I'm so excited to share this project with you. Um, I just finished it today and I made my first cardboard house with a matching mini album to go inside and this is how it turned out. Guys, I'm sorry if the camera is a bit shaky because I'm holding it. I am not using the tripod. Um, well, anyway, I used the paper from Simple Stories, the Generations Collection, and I got this idea from Annie, Miss Garden Grove 1. A while ago, I saw um, Annie made a cardboard house. I don't know if she made it out of cardboard, but she made a house box and with a matching mini album inside, and she used this paper line, and I had this paper like for a while you know I didn't know what to do with it until I saw what Annie did and I fell in love with her idea right away so um, thank you Annie so much for sharing all your beautiful beautiful work and um, inspired me okay um, so let's get started so over here you know I cut um, the house using um, these paper here that I got in my country it's like a big piece of white paper and it's pretty thick, you know, it's like cardboard thick, but it came in like big, big piece. So I drew the whole template down on that piece of paper and my template looks like this. So I cut it out with a craft knife and then I kind of like assemble the house, you know, but I kind of did it wrong because instead of having the door I have this whole panel open but it's okay um, it holds the mini and it does the job you know so I'm happy with it so I'm gonna show you how I decorate these I use the um, simple story paper and I don't want to do much you know I want to show the paper because the design is so pretty so I don't want to cover it up and so over here on the front what I did, I cut a window here, and I put an acetate here, see, and I add um, some laces inside so it looks like a um, curtain. And over here, I put some po trim, and this is the doorknob that I made from a big pearl bead. And it looks like this. The beads are like, like this, you know. And there's a hole here, so I just cover the hole up with this brad. This is a bread and how I, I attach the pearl to the um, this paper here, I thread um, a wire, you know, in the pearl and secure it with hot glue. And then I just um, put the wire, like push it through all the way through this paper and add some hot glue in the front and the wire would hold um, this bead in the back and then you can just cover it up later and that way um, it would never fall off you know because if you pull it in and out I don't um, want to use just the hot glue because it might fall off and over here I hang these key that I got from Bowena hi Bowena thank you for the key I love it over here I use the hinges from graphic 45 to attach the piano and the box together you know and it can open so that's it and over here I found these little thing in a store and I love it you know um, I glue it down and it clips like that and over here is my handmade flowers super easy to make I just fringe um, the edge of the fabric you know to get this look and I um, use this button here that I embossed with the antique gold color. Guys, I'm so sorry if I made you dizzy because I keep flipping the camera around. And over here, I attach these. This is a brad and I just hang this thing. Um, this is from Bo Bunny, the etc. collection. I had it um, left. So, you know, I use it on my box here. And this is a butterfly charm. And the side, the roof look like this. I love, love it. So over here, I just made these flowers and added them on. I used these um, polka dot brow fabric here. And over here, I um, crocheted this heart shape. Don't know if you could see. 
I crocheted these and attached it here. I love, love it. And I put some button here. I did the same thing, emboss it with the detail gold so it looks kind of like vintage um, gold color. And then over here, more fabric flowers that I made. And this is the buttons. I love, love this button. It's so beautiful, so detailed. I love that. And I added some um, leaves here. And all around the house, guys, I added the rosette trim, you know, just to cover up the hot glue because <laughs> it's all over the place. Okay, and the back look like this. So this is the back. And over here, I added these flowers and I cut these pieces out, you know, to make a pocket like that. Like, you can slip um, some photos in. Um, maybe, like, you can decorate it more, but that's all I want. And over here, I use this die cut piece, attach it here. And then over here, I just put some um, paper flowers, you know, these roses and this one. And added um, this spray here. I love, love this. This is actually f like more like Christmassy um, spray, but I love it. You know, I love the color. I think it goes so well with the red in this um, paper. So I use it and I use these leaves as well. I love the leaves and added the pearl trim here. And on this side, this one is kind of plain. Um, I might do something later, but I, I might leave it like this as well, you know. I think it looks good as it is. And over here, I love this paper. I love it over here. The patterns are so gorgeous. And so this is the handmade flowers. And I put the buttons there. I added the leaves here. And over here, I bought, you know, like like the silk flowers. And then, you know, they always come in like a bud, you know, like roses. I just took them all apart so I can get the individual petals like this. And I put um, some Distress Ink on it, you know, because if not, the color would be too bright. So I put Distress Ink on it and then I attach all the petals together with um, the brad. So that's what I did and I added another spray here. I love it. It looks so cute. Let me flip the camera again. Guys, I'm so sorry. So this is the box. The front and it opens like that. Alright. Okay, it opens like this. I'm going to show you the mini album later, okay? So inside, let me show you these first. I added um, the curtains here. I'm sorry, ladies. And over here, I added some more trim and these little flowers. And I, you know, here just to cover up the brad that I push it through. And I added some pearl trim here to give it some design. And over here, this is where I put the wire through, you know, to hold the doorknob. And I just cover it up with um, the paper flowers. And inside, I love the inside. It looks like a house to me. So I put the rosette trim here, you know, so it looks like a rug. It looks soft and comfy. And inside, this is um, just the paper that I cut. It's a family where life begins, love never ends. And over here, I love this little chair image, you know, so it looks like a living room. And I added the pearl trim here. And over here, I crochet this flower. And I just added here, and this is the flower trim. Love this, so cute. So, um, at first I leave it like raw, like inside, you know. I use the white paper, remember? So I just wrap the whole thing up with the craft, um, it's like a craft stickers. And it's like, um, it looks so plain, you know. So I decided to cover it up with the paper, and I love, love how it turned out. I love the patterns here, so pretty. So that's the box, guys. Um, and I put the whole thing on these base, you know, I, this is like a cart, the cart stock that I cover up with craft paper and I just put vintage photo distress ink all around it, you know, to make it like blend in with the entire collection here. That's the house ladies. Let's go over to the mini album. Mm -hmm.